Stars has officially announced that Outlander Season 8 will mark the conclusion of the series. Here's a comprehensive overview of the cast and key details about the storyline. Before delving into the unexpected revelations of Outlander Season 8, let's explore the scoop on Outlander Blood of My Blood, the upcoming prequel. This spin-off is poised to carry on the rich legacy of its parent show with distinct storytelling and genuine romance. Outlander, a tremendously successful project, has portrayed the romantic relationship between Jamie and Claire, unfolding as Claire is transported back in time to 18th century Scotland. Serving as a replacement for the main show after its eighth and final season, Outlander Blood of My Blood delves into the story of Jamie's parents, Ellen McKenzie and Brian Fraser, offering an extended narrative beyond Diana Gabaldon's novels. As details about the prequel story and cast begin to emerge, the anticipation for this Outlander spin-off is high, promising a continuation of the captivating saga. I'm waiting for you to say something. Anything that approaches an apology. An apology? Continuing with the developments of Outlander Blood of My Blood, the Outlander prequel has taken a significant step towards becoming a reality by casting Jamie and Claire's parents. Harriet Slater and Jamie Roy have been chosen to portray Jamie Fraser's parents, Ellen and Brian, while Hermione Corfield and Jeremy Irvine will bring to life Claire's parents, Julie and Harry. An exciting revelation from the casting announcement is that filming has already commenced for the prequel series in Scotland. The announcement of Outlander Blood of My Blood in early 2023 coincided with the revelation that the eighth season of Outlander would conclude the narrative and mark the end of the show. This strategic timing allows the production team ample opportunity to continue crafting the prequel, ensuring it captures the same level of entertainment that made the original a massive success. While not all details about the cast of Outlander Blood of My Blood have been disclosed, key roles have been filled. Although the full cast remains unknown, there is speculation that some actors may reprise their roles. Returning to the Outlander universe, Matthew B. Roberts will write and executive produce the Outlander spin-off, drawing on his experience from working on the original show. Roberts is accompanied by Ronald D. Moore and Meryl Davies in the writer's room, with Roberts taking on the role of showrunner. Diana Gabaldon, the author of the Outlander series, will contribute to Outlander Blood of My Blood as a creative consultant. The narrative of Outlander Blood of My Blood will predominantly center on the relationship between Brian and Ellen, positioning these characters as the show's protagonists. While exploring themes from the original series, the spin-off is expected to take a unique approach. Additionally, Claire's parents, Julie and Harry, will play a role in the storyline, suggesting a narrative that spans different periods. The forbidden romance between Brian and Ellen, as revealed by Jamie in the first season of Outlander, will likely be a central plot point in Outlander Blood of My Blood, introducing tensions that persist from start to finish. Diana Gabaldon has hinted at the incorporation of clan politics and other intriguing elements into Brian and Ellen's romance, promising a captivating exploration of their story. With that being said, with stars confirming that seasons 7 and 8 will bring Claire and Jamie's love story to an epic conclusion, fans can expect the return of Katrina Balfe as Claire and Sam Hewen as Jamie Fraser. Season 8 will revolve around Diana Gabaldon's ninth book, Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone, promising the inclusion of Sophie Skelton as Brianna and Richard Rankin as Roger, pivotal characters integral to the plot. Anticipated appearances by other actors include Cesar Domboy from The Walk, Lauren Lyle from Virgil, John Bell from The Hobbit, Kristen Atherton, known for her Shakespearean roles, David Berry from A Place to Call Home, Charles Vandervart from Lost in Space, and Izzy Meckley-Small from Snow White and the Huntsman. While specific details about Outlander Season 8 remain scarce, Diana Gabaldon has disclosed that the final season will primarily focus on her ninth book, Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. The narrative unfolds as Jamie and Claire's relationship faces renewed challenges amid the turmoil of the American Revolutionary War, threatening to unravel their family bonds. The presence of the villainous Rob Cameron, a key character in Outlander Season 7, has caused havoc for Brianna, Roger, and their family in the 20th century. Go Tell the Bees I'm Gone further explores their anxieties and fears, anticipating the looming threat of conspiracists tracking them down. 
the extent to which the writers take artistic liberties and cover elements from the book in Season 7 will likely shape the main plot of Outlander Season 8, with a focus on these significant plot points. Many viewers may not be aware of an intriguing moment in the first episode of Outlander, where it seems like the ghost of Jamie is observing Claire. Outlander, a historical drama series on stars, adapted from Diana Gabaldon's novels, follows the journey of Claire Randall, a World War II nurse transported back to 1743 in the Scottish Highlands. Her intricate relationship with Jamie Fraser unfolds across time and continents, creating a captivating narrative. Premiering in 2014, Outlander has earned acclaim, securing four Emmys and six Golden Globe nominations over its seven seasons. While the show seamlessly blends history, romance, and action into an exhilarating adventure, its distinctive element is the inclusion of science fiction, particularly time travel. Time travel plays a significant role in Outlander, and although the rules aren't always explicitly outlined, they remain relatively consistent throughout the series. Only select characters in Outlander possess the ability to time travel, and it's established that Jamie is not one of them, leading to emotional challenges when Claire travels through time without him. This context sets the stage for a puzzling scene in Season 1, Episode 1, titled Sassanac, where Jamie seemingly appears in 1945. Given that Jamie isn't a time traveler, this scene raises intriguing questions and suggests that there might be an alternative explanation for Jamie's presence in that particular moment. Outlander author Diana Gabaldon has definitively confirmed that the mysterious figure seen in the first episode is indeed Jamie's ghost. Despite persistent speculation about Jamie's ability to time travel, Gabaldon has maintained that Jamie cannot time travel in the Outlander series. The scene in question occurs in the series premiere when Frank, on vacation, encounters a man in Scottish attire outside Claire's window. This man, who bears a resemblance to Jamie, disappears in a ghostly manner when approached by Frank. Despite this confirmation, the revelation of Jamie's ghost raises intriguing questions, especially regarding why the ghost appears to be 25 years old when Jamie lives beyond that age in the series. One theory suggests that Jamie's spirit, rather than his physical body, traveled through time as a ghost to guide Claire. However, Gabaldon's statements make this theory less likely. Another speculation proposes that Jamie, after a near-death experience at 25 during the Battle of Culloden, chose this age for his ghostly appearance. Outlander's influence extends to Black Sails, a historical adventure series on stars that features a clever Easter egg paying homage to Outlander. Black Sails is crafted as a prequel to Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, portraying a crew of pirates in the golden age of piracy on New Providence Island. Led by Captain Jay Flint, the pirates embark on a quest for a Spanish treasure galleon, Urca de Lima, which evolves into a larger conflict with the British Empire. The first season of Black Sails centers on the pursuit of the treasure, but the subsequent seasons escalate into a full-blown war between the pirates and the British Empire for control of New Providence Island. Well, that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.